Gems now up for the Disruptor, so this map's going to become very, very dark for EG. I say very dark when you are running a Beastmaster, so the Hawks should always be giving you extra information. But you see just how close EG and Na'Vi are farming, and how much Na'Vi are invading the sides. So while Samal's taking ages, General's like, well, okay, I'll take some of that experience as well. Sun Strike's on the way, Samal moves up. Denji actually takes both of those last hits, I think. Yeah, he did. No, oh, he takes... No, the, the, the small ones. Yeah. Yeah, he only got one of them, because the gold popped on, on a little late on the other one. General still here at Arteezy. But Denny beating himself for so he, didn't, he did actually end up picking up the boots of travel. He's still got a surplus of about 1,600 gold. So maybe a little bit of indecision exactly which path he wanted to go. This time around, our style won't have the delayed Aghanim Scepter. I mean, this game is so far just his playground, right? The one time he died, he entertained them for so long, they committed four heroes to it, he almost killed one of them before he went down with the Aegis just. And I, I imagine he was just sitting there smiling, waiting for his team to come. <laughs> Look how much EG is trying to commit to getting rid of the vision. Like, the sentry wards all over the top lane. Their obs are about to time out. They do have a fresh one at the top river. That's a little bit more of a warning. It's Diddy Ra. He's currently a ward for Na'Vi. It's been very endemic to how EG has played this game. They only have control of the top lane. Yeah. Alright, that's easy. Yeah, he's too far away. PPD's gonna take too long. His sentry's too far away from the obs as well, so they know the PPD's rotating over. There's no one else here, however. So all PPD can do is put down a nice ward to watch the bottom river. But this Roshan is so easily belonging to Na'Vi. And who do you give it to? Like, you look towards Denny, right? So he's the biggest one. Denny Ra's, like, I like it. It's not the, not the greatest Aegis carrier. Yeah, we talked about this yesterday, how it doesn't really matter if uh, Lycan or even Death Prophet have Aegis. They already committed the ultimate. Now, that Observer would last a grand total of, like, maybe 30 seconds. Just that gem on Taneko. Now you lose your sentry wards as well. 22, 23 minute Agadim, Scepter Chen. What creeps does that style got? Actually, he's got none. He has to wait for them to spawn up. Yeah, that's a, that's a fairly common timing. Especially when you're as far ahead, ahead as we are right now. Ooh, perfect. Against a granite golem. One, one of the two you want. The black dragons and the granite golems. For pushing, this is actually the preferred one, I think. If you have to choose one of them. 15% HP increase is pretty good. Um, Beastmaster finishes up his level 3 Necrobox at Universe. At least he has this. He is trying to keep the momentum on the top lane going as far as he can. The balls are already down from Universe and just with one quick boulder kick, the tier 2 tower will start to take some level of damage. But then he's back to defend this. He can TP back to the lane in 40 seconds time anyway. And with the space he's getting to farm up on the top lane, that, uh, that Octarine is really not far away as well. <laughs> Damn, yeah, I'm still really questioning good. if it is the Octarine. I know Dendi really likes to get that early Scythe of Vice as well to sort of be be able to pick up kills on his own without them doing anything about it. Well, it's up to him. With the Blink Dagger, the Scythe definitely makes a lot of sense. Of course, if they just keep this game going for another 10 minutes, he can take both. Yeah, but I, I feel like Na'Vi can just... Uh, Force the issue right now. They just need a bit of decisiveness and then just commit to going. They actually haven't breached high ground at all yet. Which, with how the game has played out, is almost strange, but they've just been fighting their time. They're not giving EG a, a chance to get back into this game. It's the patience which we weren't certain we would see from Na'Vi. We definitely didn't see it from them in their, in their quarterfinal game one. Uh, the general is looking for RTC, knowing that Dendi can TP down on the creep wave. It's pretty damn close. I'm not close enough. But yeah, can Na'Vi actually end this game? Do they do they have what it takes? So I think the, the what they're fearful of is the fact that what if Beastmaster roars Dendi and Magnetize lands on everything and Bristleback is in the middle of everything, just firing off 10 quill sprays, mm -hmm. then maybe EG might actually win the fight. Uh, goodbye PPD, the Corona is here as well from General. He catches out RTZ, they're gonna have enough damage, RTZ, yeah he does go down. The Magnetize doesn't do anywhere near enough, uh, and Leroy is 
even used on Suneko. They do bring down that Disruptor finally, but what really is Samael doing? He's over on the side trying to battle up against Arstyle, not to mention the Ancient World, and he loses because Diddy Ra was right in there with him. Three heroes will drop, and Na'Vi have now got a big opening to go high ground and do damage to a tier three and potentially Rax. Yeah, Dendi remains alive, still carrying that Aegis of the Immortal, so there's no way that they're going to back off. They, they could fight this. In fact, it looks like EG will be fighting this one with a buyback into Spectral Haunt. Instantly, Arteezy will be on the front line. And they need something from this. They really, really do. The tier three tower. Oh, okay. Is Navi going to give them the space? Navi's playing it very safe, very cautious. Well, they don't expect it's up in two seconds' time anyway. So they, they do they not force the rags, dude. It's the sendback. It's the sendback. Solar Quest now up on Digi Ra. Arsal with the almost perfect creep combo. The dragon, the Grey Knight Golem, and the Alpha Wolf. The dream. Just like the Aghanim, Scepter, Blink Dagger over on General. Without actually having the Vlads on him now. Yeah, well, the Lycan already has one, so. Yep. That's the nice space and the synergy we, which we weren't certain would see from this Navi lineup. So Nico now going for the Aetherlands. He's the only one who's been suffering throughout this game. We get our answer from Dandy. It's not going to be a Scythe of Ice. It's the Octarine Core as his next major item. It's a nice drop as well on the BT, so he can deal with the split push that EG is attempting to do. Yeah, it's the most standout build of all. And here comes Navi. They already did the damage to the top. That would be the lane that would like to go through. The creep wave in the bottom is almost pushed in as well. Yeah, but the mid lane is still found away the best lane to actually take down. So, and then of course, Tijara can do this. <laughs> it's not hard to take out that range rack, but he is very isolated going in by himself with that wolf form. But it doesn't really matter because he's distracting everyone. So Mel's in the front lines trying to defend against everyone else from Na'Vi. But now PBD has to swap RTZ back out again. He should sacrifice his own life. That sun strike and hit from Dendi. He actually found the target. The Final hero, Dota Pit. What an absolute amazing performance by by Navi. I was skeptical after that first game, but the second time around, they just come in completely refreshed. New team performing the same way we saw them against Secret yesterday. Amazing. Is Navi back, Toby? I don't know. If they win this third game, I feel like I can actually say it. This is the dangerous place to be. This is when Navi gets pumped up. This is when they have a lot of confidence and they'll actually go for the big place. They'll move around the map and they won't live in fear. It is, it is the golden age for Na'Vi. If they can do this, not only, like, it was a hard, hard part of the bracket anyway. You had to go up against Secret. Most people wrote them off in that I mean, one. There's no and then you can beat EG as well. Way. Wow, that would be, that would be an amazing kind of run. But will it be possible? We'll ask the professionals, the experts, the panelists. Thank you, Toby. That's right. Na'Vi, they've done it. They've even...